Hello, tribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alicia, I'll be guiding you through your practice today. So today's class, we are going to focus on the booty. So if you've not already grabbed your mat, let's get everything set up, ready to go. Hopefully you have some water handy. We'll warm up a little bit first and then we'll get right into it. So coming into your comfortable seated position, we're gonna take some seated cat cows this morning. So bringing the hands down to the thighs, sitting up nice and tall with the spine. Inhale, press the chest forward, arch the back, looking up. And then exhale, round the spine, bring the shoulders forward, drop the chin to the chest. Again, inhaling into our seated cow. And exhale into seated cat. Move with your own breath. Nice deep breaths as we start to connect our breath with our movement. Really try to over-exaggerate what you're doing here. Pressing that chest forward, last one. And then round it back. All right, let's bring it over into tabletop position. So hands coming directly underneath of the shoulders as we bring the knees underneath of the hips. Fingers spread nice and wide on the mat. Pressing the tops of the ankles into the mat. Keep a neutral neck here. Bring that belly button back into the spine. And then on our next inhale, we're gonna press that left leg straight back. Square the hips, engage the core, keep everything nice and tight. And then when you're ready, right arm comes out, bicep next to the ear. So we're reaching forward with the hand, kicking back with the foot. Keep that back leg engaged, engage the booty. Hold for another breath and release it down. Inhale, right leg comes back. Again, find your balance here. And then when you're ready, bring that left arm out, bicep next to the ear. Holding for three, two, and one, release it back down onto the mat. Again, inhale, left leg comes straight back. Flex the foot, square the hips. Engage the core, engage the booty. And then we're gonna bend that knee 90 degrees. Lifting the leg up, squeeze the butt. Bring the knee back down even with the hip. Again, lift, bring it back down. Lift, bring it back down one more time. Lift it up and bring it back down. Release the knee. Rock the hips side to side a little bit. Find some movement. Hips coming back to center. Inhale the right leg straight back. Square the hips, keeping it engaged. Bend the knee. And lift up, squeeze the booty, bring it back down. Again, up, back down. Try to keep the hips still squared with the mat. Again, up, and back down, even with the hip. One more time, lift it up, and bring it back down, rock the hip side to side. All right, from here, we're gonna tuck the toes and come up into our plank. Take a breath here, and then with the right leg, lift it up. Bring it back down halfway, lift up. Again. One more time. Drop it back down into plank. Drop the knees and take a breath if you need to. All right, 
lifting back up into plank. We're gonna step that right foot forward this time. Keep the left heel up off the mat as we sweep the arms up for crescent lunge. Keep the back leg nice and engaged here. Relax the shoulders, squeeze that booty. Hold for a breath. And then we're gonna take some knee, knee dips here. So dropping down, lift three, two, and one. Shifting the weight forward onto the right leg, bringing the hands to heart center, coming into warrior three. Try to square the hips down to the mat. If you fall out of it, that's okay. Just come back in. There we go. All right. Bringing the hands back down to the mat. Drop it back down into your lunge. Step the right foot back, holding our plank. All right. Other side. Left leg lifts up. Bring it back down, even with the hip. Lift. And back down, lift, one more, lift, back into plank. Again, drop the knees if you need a break, take a break, or you can hold your plank here for one more breath. All right, from our plank, left foot steps forward, keeping the right heel lifted up off the mat. Get a nice solid base here, and then when you're ready, sweep the arms up. Crescent lunge. Square the hips, keep that back leg nice and straight. Engage the booty. Dropping the right knee, lift it up. Three, two, and one. Hands come to heart center, shifting it forward onto the left leg. Warrior three. Keep that back leg nice and tight. All right, drop it back down, but we're gonna stay standing here. So open it up to the side of the mat. Turn the toes out 45 degrees, drop it down into your goddess pose. Hold here for a breath. Straighten, and we're gonna take some goddess pose squats here. So just dropping it down, squeeze the booty on the way up. Inhale on the way down, squeeze the booty on the way up, exhale. Couple more. On this one, let's drop it down. If you can lift the toes, try to lift the toes here. Holding. And drop the heels. Exhale, bring it back up. All right. Stepping the feet together. We're gonna come into our chair pose. Inhale the arms up, hips back. I'll turn to the side for you. Keeping the knees from shooting out past the toes. So look down, make sure you can wiggle your toes, make sure you can see your toes. Try not to overarch the lower back. And straighten. Bring it back down into your chair pose. Hold for a couple of breaths. And straighten. Again, bring it back down. And straighten. Last one. Down into our chair pose. And straighten. Inhale here. Exhale. Come into a forward fold. All right. Step the feet back into your plank. We're going to hold plank. Nice deep breaths. And then start to lower down nice and slow. 
releasing all the way down onto your stomach. Bringing the chin to the mat. We're gonna bring the arms down at our side and then kind of bring them underneath of the legs, just a little bit underneath of the thighs. Bring the feet together, zip the legs together. Chin to the mat. Inhale, engage the core. Exhale, lift the legs. Only the legs, keeping the chest and the chin down on the mat. And release it down. Nice deep breath. Take a breath while we prepare for round two. All right, inhale, engage the core. Exhale, lift the legs. Three, two, one, lower it back down. Take a moment here, maybe bend the knees. Winch of life of the feet side to side. All right, releasing the feet back down onto the mat, keeping the hands down at your sides now. Chin coming to the mat. Inhale, engage the core. Exhale, press it all up into your locust pose. Now, if you want to interlace the fingers behind the back, squeeze the elbows and the shoulders together. Lift those legs. Three, two, and one. Lower it down. Take a break. All right. One more locust pose. Chin comes back to the mat. Fingers interlace. Inhale, engage the core. Exhale, bring it all up. Breathe, three, two, and one. Lower it back down, let's press ourselves up. Bringing your knees as wide as the mat, toes come together. Send the hips back towards the heels, coming into our child's pose. So just counter, stretching some of that lower back bend that we just got in our locust pose. From here in your child's pose, Send that breath into the lower back, feeling the space around the sacrum expand. And then start to lift with the chest. Coming back up on towards the hands, we'll cross the feet and sit down on our seat. All right, bringing the feet in front of you, bend the knees as we start to slowly roll down onto our backs. Take a moment, hug the knees into the chest, and then release the feet down onto the mat, keeping the knees bent. We're gonna walk the heels in towards the sits bones, reaching the fingertips down towards the heels, preparing for bridge pose. Inhale, engage the core, Exhale, press the feet into the mat, lift the hips, reaching the chest towards the chin. If you want to interlace the fingers under the back, rolling the shoulders under, really pressing up, keeping the booty nice and engaged. Knees stay parallel to each other. Three, two, and one. Lower it back down. Windshield wiper the knees side to side. All right, bringing them back to center. This time, engage the core. Exhale, press yourself up into bridge pose. Again, you can roll the shoulders under if you want. We're gonna try to lift one of the legs. So bring the right leg up. Hold for three, two, and one. Bring the foot back down, gently roll back down onto your back. Again. Knees side to side. Remember the breath. A lot of times in these poses, bridge pose or locust pose, 
We have a tendency to hold our breath, right? Breathe, breathe, breathe. And we'll come back to center with the knees. Again, inhale, engage the core. Exhale, press yourself up into your bridge. And then once you're there, lifting that left leg up. Squeeze the booty. Three, two, and one. Bend the knee back down. Slowly roll it back down onto the back. Bring the knees into the chest. Squeeze nice and tight, bring the knees into the thighs, lift the forehead to meet the kneecaps. Ground on the spine. So a lot of times when we're working the booty or the core, we're also doing quite a bit of stuff with our back. So it's important to always take care of our spine. We'll bring the hands behind the thighs, take a couple rolls up and down, massaging the entire length of the spine on your mat. And then lower it all the way down, extend the legs out onto the mat, allow the feet to gently fall out to the sides. Arms coming down beside you, palms facing up. <sighs> Closing the eyes, dropping down into your Tadasana. As always, your Shavasana is optional, but I always strongly encourage at least five minutes as a job well done to yourself. It's a treat at the end of the hard work. So stay here as long as you'd like. I'll guide you into your relaxation. Eyes are closed. Unclench the teeth and the jaw, releasing the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Softening throughout the entire body, starting with the forehead, the eyebrows, the eyes. Working your way down. Noticing anywhere that you can soften into a little deeper. And allow yourself to release and relax with each exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was my honor to guide you through your practice. Namaste.